Oh my gosh. I'm in a bad mood. Look at my headphones. You see this? I am sick and tired of getting clapped by overpowered characters on Mortal Kombat. So I thought to myself, today we have to make a Mortal Kombat 1 tier list so I can just get my frustration and rage out. I need an outlet for all this frustration because if I don't... <laughs> And some of you guys might be thinking to yourself, Mike, you're just being dramatic. Relax. I can't relax. <laughs> Look what I did to my <laughs> controller. <laughs> this game is not a joke. This game is my life. I'm not being dramatic. This game is a lifestyle. If it wasn't a lifestyle, I wouldn't be breaking controllers over it. I rest my case. All right, now it's time to get down to business. I'm not listening to anybody else's opinions. I form my own opinions. I'm not a sheep. I've been playing Mortal Kombat for like eight years. So I have a decent understanding of the game. So we got S tier, A tier, and B tier. Most of the characters are going to go into these three tiers because most characters are pretty good at the game. And when I'm about to be done with the tier list, I'm gonna make some small changes. So you gotta watch to the end of the video to see the final tier list, all right? So the first character we got, Liu Kang. I think this character is pretty strong. So we're gonna put him at A tier here for now he has good damage pretty good zoning good strike throw game can combo off of his throw just an all-around solid character honestly next we got kong lao this character is so cheese use this character with someone like goro it's over it's over he has a safe armored launcher now if you don't know what that is that is literally a special move that has armor that launches you in the air if you have the right cameo which means you can get a combo off that and it's safe no risk i'm pretty sure this character is top 10 i'm pretty sure the character got some low-key mix-ups in there good pressure good strike throw good damage like he has damn near everything for now i'm gonna put him at s tier for now he might get changed if i see anybody better than him but i think he's like at the lower end of s tier this scumbag of a character look at him look at him look i hate you if you use this character i have zero respect for you i don't care i don't care i'm talking crazy this whole video this character is the best character in the game you know the game that you paid 70 dollars for yeah you can't play it when you play against him <laughs> nope <laughs> you're just gonna hold block the whole game <laughs> He literally has the best pressure in the game. And if you mix Kong Lao cameo in with that, oh yeah, it's never your turn. Nope. Did you know you could get a 65% plus combo with him, with Sonya? Did you know that? You probably didn't even know that. This character carries so many bad players. A bad player would pick up this character, know the fundamentals to the character, and start beating good players. And that's not throwing shots at anybody. It just is what it is. This is the best character in the game, in my honest, humble opinion. You, I think you could argue that one other person is better than him. That's about it all you johnny cage players yeah you disgust me the only way you get my respect if he gets nerfed into the ground and you still play him that is the only way next up we got bald-headed gears yeah go straight to s tier where you belong buddy because you are overpowered damage crazy command grab goaded tick throws goaded he has a time move that lets you reverse time gain health back break a combo for one bar one you think that's fair oh hell no yeah go to s tier where you belong okay next person we got lee may this is a sleeper pick if you don't know about her why do people think this character is not good run into a good lee may i promise you you'll think wait 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 a second this character is cheese oh i know <laughs> okay next up we got katana i don't know why people think she's bad i don't think she's bad at all i think she's like pretty solid mid tier you could do some crazy stuff with her okay next up we got one of the finest characters in the game what's good melina <laughs> Melina's a pretty good character. She's pretty good. I'd have to put her at like top of A tier, maybe bottom of S tier for now. I I'm about to see at the end. We'll see. And then here comes another sleeper pick. I hear so many people so divided on this character. So many people think she's trash. I don't think that at all. I do think the only bad thing about her is her damage. I think she her damage is a little bit on like the mid lower end. But other than that, this character does not let you play the game, it seems like. And if you use an ambush cameo, you got a safe armored launcher. Her mid string is good good as hell i'm gonna say near melina near melina and now we got my boy bihan the homie sub-zero is pretty trash in this game he is one of the few characters that are gonna go into b tier his damage is a little bit on the lower end if you want decent damage you're gonna have to use a lot of resources for some reason nrs nerfed him after the beta i don't know why you're nerfing characters when the full game's not even out and he wasn't even that good in the first place that nerf made zero sense to me because kenshi was in the beta and look what he 
he's doing still. <laughs> he is one of the worst characters in the game. You can still win with him, but one of the worst characters in the game. I've seen some reptile stuff. He, he's pretty solid. And now I'm seeing Sonic Fox trying to figure him out too. But from what I've seen, I think he's like solid A tier. I think he like solid A tier for now. And then look who crawls up out of nowhere. Raiden, I liked you in the story mode, but playing against you in multiplayer, I literally want to... <laughs> I think the main thing that makes this character so unbearable to play against is Storm Cell. Storm Cell is just so good. It does chip damage and sucks you inwards. Pause! He has good ass damage. Good stagger game. He got 50 50s. He has a low that you could hit confirm and that's safe. What are you? You are a top five character for sure, buddy. And then here we go. We're just getting back to back broke ass characters. Is that what this is? We have smoke up next. When the game first came out, people were saying, oh, he's gimmicky. He's fake. He's fake. The cancels are fake. First of all, the cancels are good as hell. Obviously, they're a little gimmicky, but they're still good. He has pretty solid 50-50s that lead to combos. The main thing that makes him overpowered in my opinion is the fact that you could go invisible whenever you want. How am I supposed to block 50-50s that I, if I can't see you? <laughs> I can't fight what I can't see. When did Mortal Kombat turn into a horror game? And then slap good damage on top of all that? Yeah, you're top 10, buddy. Get out of my face! Broke-ass character. The next person we got is Rain. Now, I saw Sonic Fox playing Rain, and then everyone started saying he was broke as hell. This is one of the picks where I'm like kind of iffy on i think he's just like solid a tier mid he's pretty mid tier i think from what i've seen i haven't seen that many good rains the only good rain i've seen is sonic fox so if y'all argue with me on that i i'm not mad at it <laughs> this is a controversial one too after baraka got nerfed everyone said he was trash after his damage nerf literally almost everybody stopped playing him and then on top of that cyrus got nerfed that was his main cameo and now people are starting to say he's not that good which to that i say are you smoking crack in one of the biggest tournaments in mk1 baraka literally won that tournament now i'm not saying just because you win with the character means the character's good but i mean i was looking at it it looks like he still pretty much plays the same just a little bit less damage if i'm not mistaken i still think baraka is top 10 maybe at the lower end of top 10 but still top 10 i pretty sure people are just over exaggerating the nerfs just because he gets a little bit less damage and he doesn't have cyrix doesn't mean he's bad just use striker and you're good to go and then when it comes to havoc i think he is pretty solid probably like just mid tier like mid tier i've seen some setups with him but he's a little bit on the lower end i would say but still you can still win with him for sure does anyone else hate this character as much as me this character is so annoying I hate you. We got Ashra. You're in top five. Go where you belong. This character is just disgusting. Just truly disgusting. If you play this character, I don't like you. Just is what it is. And then now look who we got next. We got Mommy Sindel. Sindel, the word around the street is you're top five. <laughs> if you're not top five, you're definitely top 10. But I'm not mad at you because you are just so fine. I always thought this character was pretty good. But if you use the Kung Lao cameo, she gets broken i don't know if she's top five a lot of people are saying she's top five now i'll for sure say she's top 10 i just feel like everyone that plays sindel doesn't use her to her full potential and if you don't use kung lao she's not as overpowered I, so i guess depending on what camera you use she's pretty godlike i'm gonna put her top 10 and look who's next another sleeper pick i feel like there's so many characters in this game that are so polarizing like, like half the people think the character is just straight up trash and then half the character think that and then half the people think the character is just straight up broke i'm on the broke side with shao Kahn. He's definitely top 10. I don't know why people keep downplaying this character. I really don't understand it. If you think this character is trash, just stop lying to yourself. You don't know what you're talking about. Good ass damage, 50-50s. If you put the axe down, the character somehow gets better without a weapon. This character is vile. I'm telling you right now, this character is top 10. I do not care what anyone has to say. This character is ridiculous. For Shang Tsung, I haven't seen too many Shang Tsung players, and I haven't played him myself. I think he's like pretty solid mid tier i think he's in the solid mid tier i don't really have much to say no one plays this character for some reason i don't know why freaky ass natara people just say this character is his bottom five for some reason she has like the lowest health in the game i think she is definitely a b tier character but you can still win with her i'm pretty sure she has the fastest movement in the game a good natara will still mess you up i promise you she has some pretty good mind games and she got the craziest movement in the game still winnable with her still winnable though and then look we got general shao's number one glazer yo reiko all that glazing paid off 
because you are overpowered too. Right alongside with General Shao. He trained you well because you're broken too, buddy. <laughs> Reiko's playstyle is one of the most annoying playstyles in the game. You just run away the whole time and just throw ninja stars. And then when someone's up close to you, just hug them. And then call on Darius, 30% on your head. We got the go Omni-Man. When I'm playing Omni-Man, I literally feel like I'm in... He is so fun to play. He's pretty good, too. He's one of the funnest characters in the game to play. He's pretty good. I think he's, like, solid, solid mid-tier. I think he's, like, solid mid-tier. He got some pretty dirty setups, depending on what cameo you use. I still think people are figuring out, like, his potential. Kenshi, I would go off on you right now, but I liked you in the story. That's the only reason why I'm not snapping on you, big bro. But when we get in the ring and multiplayer, oh, my you disgust me! If you play this character, you are so carried. It is free wins. Quite literally, save 50 50s. Quite literally, bro, when you have Sento out. And you can't press anything. You're just holding block for 20 seconds straight or 15. I don't know how long it is. It's too damn long. I lose count of time. That's how long it is. But if you don't have bar, you're literally forced to hold a block string, which means he could just hit you over and over and over again for however long Sento's out for. If you think that's fair, you're just stupid. I don't know what to say. Yes, you could armor out, but that could always be baited and you get blown up for 38%. Like, nice. <laughs> I think the correct way to nerf him is just maybe, maybe lower the duration of Sento just by like a third because he's just out for way too long. You are top two. Oh my God, get up there. And then we save the best for last. My main character now this whole tier list i have not been biased i only played three characters i think scorpion being my main character with that being said scorpion is the worst character in the game i know what you're thinking oh here he goes he's saying that because he made him and now he thinks he's good because he plays a low tier character and he gets wins with him that's just not the case at all i wish this character wasn't the worst i would have taken him at a mid-tier character i would have taken that he sucks you think i want my character to be ass no! I swear to you, I am not being biased. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, think Scorpion is the worst character in the game. Think about it. Think about it right now. What does Scorpion have? What type of character is he? What can he do? Oh, wait. That's right. He doesn't have anything! I gotta stand up. You guys are about to piss me off. Because I know a lot of you guys are like, What do you mean, Mike? Scorpion's pretty good. Are we looking at the same character? No 50-50s. Zero. <laughs> zero. No plus strings. Zero. 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 He has no pressure and no 50-50s. And not a good mid. Um, hello? Hello? Do you not see a problem with that? You gotta have something. You gotta have one of those, in my opinion. All of his strings are negative. So it's hard. You can't really start pressure he literally has no mix-up and his mid is so stubby and it has a gap in it and the second hits a high so if you just duck that high you get a full combo out of it if you throw out a mid he just has like solid damage it's not even that good you're getting like around 40 percent for a bar if you have the right cameo which literally 90 percent of the cast can do that and more if that doesn't convince you that he's the worst character in the game I, I don't know what will if you don't believe me go play him try to make him work i mean you can make him work you can make him work i'm just saying it's not going to be easy against good players i don't care what anybody has to say there is no one nothing that could convince me otherwise nothing no one could say no one could tell me anything that'll make me think this character is not the worst character in the game as of now i don't know if you don't believe me you guys are just delusional i, I don't know okay but it's not over yet all right let me order this tier list and then you guys can start commenting about it all right this is my ordered tier list it starts from left to right now i know a lot of you guys are shocked you guys are freaking out like mike what is this tier list no i'm sorry it's woke you could argue like maybe switch them like a few spots around that person switches around like that okay i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at that but for the most part this is what i genuinely think about the game as of now and this is no bias this is from what i've seen and the reason why i don't have that many characters at b tier is because if you're b tier you're just at a disadvantage you're just struggling everyone in a tier above they could just mess you up i genuinely think most characters in this game have some cheese in their arsenal i genuinely believe that except these bottom three they're kind of struggling but what do you guys think comment down below is this a stupid tier list or is this kind of accurate i'm gonna look at the comments and see what you guys think to see if anyone can convince me otherwise i'm open i'm open to hearing you guys out but 
I think this is the correct tier list for Mortal Kombat 1, in my opinion. Okay, this tier list was harder than I thought to make because, because most characters in this game are pretty broke in their own way. I already know most of you guys got your pitchforks out right now. It's just a tier list. Relax. It's just a tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this tier list. That's pretty much going to conclude this video. I appreciate you guys for watching it, and I'll catch you in the next one.